Alright guys, I'm doing a uh, product review unboxing for the JDM A-Star um, LED headlights. There's one. And there's the other. I'd like to give you a window sticker also. And with it, I have a Dodge. I don't remember if it's in their um, website or not, but I got the relay harness also. I guess I'll open that right now because that's literally nothing. That's all that little relay harnesses. You know, simple as that. Let's see if I can do this one handed because I don't have a tripod. It's a little harder than it looked one handed. Uh, so let's get that out of there and. I don't know which ones these are, so I got the same. These are the G2H11CSP, whatever the hell that means. And the G2 series, they're a second generation, I don't know. And there they are. Look very nice. There's a little fan in there, if you guys can see it. Um, for heating issues. Because these do get very hot. There you go. Uh, where does it say? Where does it say? It's, uh, color is 6000K. So that's have a very, very small blue tint. I prefer the 65K or 6.5K. Um, that has a little bit stronger of a blue tint. Uh, they are waterproof. It says waterproof grade is. IP65. This is what I'm reading off right here, guys. All this is on the website also. Um, basically, when I when I ordered these, I was looking for bright. I was looking for the LED five to sixty five hundred watts um, or kilowatts or the color voltage is right there. And surprise, surprise, they look literally the exact same. Those are the six LEDs that will be... Oh, there's two of them. Cool, so those are the 12 LEDs that will be powering these. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is they, they're not numbered on the headlight. God forbid someone were to forget what... Uh, what headlight number they were, they'd have to go back on the website, look it up. You can't just pull it out and check it. Very, 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 very minor. Um, but I will be keeping these boxes just in case anything does happen. I could send it back, this and that. So that is the unboxing portion of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And later today, or in YouTube land right now, I'll be installing. So I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, so it's dark, it's cold. Uh, it's time to install the headlights. Um, once again, this is the uh, 2013, I mean, you guys can't see much, uh, Dodge Charger, uh, 1.6 liter. I'm doing the low beams, uh, which are the H11. I got the G2, the 4000 lumens, and the um, fog lights, once again, I know you can't see anything, but they're also the G2 series, 4,000 lumens, uh, they're the 9005. So I almost forgot, I'll show you the headlights now. Uh, so that's the headlights now, I know it's a little low. It's not the headlights, that's the fog lights. Turn those off. 
one more click. That's the headlights now. That's with the fog lights, and that's just the fog lights. So, fog lights. Fog lights and headlights. Now just headlights. Once again, this is just the low beams. Almost forgot to do that. I can and boom, it's already out. Bam, there's number one. And just to double check, this is an H11. And actually, before I even do that, I'm just gonna test it. All right, so it works. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in. And the hard part is getting it in there because you can't see what you're doing. Ideally, it'd be 80 degrees out. Voila, done. For one of them. That's not, we're gonna do a side, side by side. Again, this is just a low beam. Show it again. So, guys, once again, um, got them in the second one. Went a lot smoother. A little bit of practice, I guess. Um, here are once again the low beams. And then I'll switch back so you guys can see the before and after. And then just another simple comparison. Um, I'll turn the fog lights on. You guys can see those. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, kind of. Um, these ones are a lot brighter. Obviously, the color, the look of them is just a lot better. And I guess I'm back working on the fog lights. Um, there's something like eight or nine little push pins. There's one all the way up here. There's my fingers that I can't get out, so it's gonna make it a little bit difficult. Um, down here, there's also two screws. Um, part of the bumper or something like that, and then the fog light is somewhere all the way back there. I think I can see it. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, so guys, when I went to go install the fog lights, um, I realized I made a mistake. Um, I accidentally ordered the high beams, not the fog lights. Uh, the 9005 are the high beams, and I didn't want those. When I need the high beams, I want them to be normal brightness um, so I had to call the customer service they gladly accepted the return and once I got the money back my PayPal account I reordered the correct ones which are right here they're the 2504 and that's them they actually have a little projector on them so I'm very excited to see how they work the installation of it is kind of a pain in the butt you have to take the skid plate off underneath the car which I did at my friend's house and then I installed them at my parents' house. It was snowy, it was zero degrees, it was horrible. Um, this is a video, a picture of everything right here. And then I got the fog lights right there. Installation time only took a few minutes. Uh, I do wanna add um, the installation of these headlights, although a pain in the butt for where they were, these headlights are 100% direct fit. No relays, no bulky HID ballast, no none of those. 
Um, the company does a great job making them. They were 100% perfect fit. Um, I don't know if it's the JDM A Star, the 2504, the fog lights. They were very hard to push in, and they, the stock ones were also very hard to pull out. It might just be the bulb styling of it. Um, everything went in great though. 100% stock fit. Everything fit perfect. Couldn't be more happy with it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like product reviews like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.